One of my favorite scenes in the movie is when you guys get to go on the field at Ole Miss. And being able to shoot that, it, it seems so iconic. You were kind of leading the way with all the guys. Tell me a bit about being able to to make this such a an enclosed Mississippi story, but also a much broader story. It's it, it's not just, I think, for Mississippi. I think a lot of people can, can learn from what's going on, the music story, the legacy of the family, and, and the fife itself for people that don't even know about it. I think there's a lot of learnable information in this film. You know, my, my involvement with this was just, you know, capturing the tradition and, and amazing music that, that Chardet and her family have been carrying on and she learned from her grandfather, Otha Turner. Um, with the filming on, on the uh, Ole Miss field, it was something that I've had a vision for for a long time of trying to get a capturing of the Hill Country Blues and she's the best we have um, going forward and, and trying to trying to assimilate it into, you know, the the other types of music, the marching band. She has a lot of history with marching band um, at Delta State as well, yeah. and, uh, and so we had Randy Dale, who knew them as knew them as well. That that uh, was the ba- current band director for Ole Miss. That um, I'll look closer. Um, you know, he was involved with that, really helping kind of bring everything together as well with the Ole Miss marching band and Charday uh, and the and the rising fife, fife and drum band. So, you know, it was a vision for us to try to um, you know celebrate their type of music with the hill country blues but um you know see the tradition of what they have with their festival as well what's it mean Chardé, for i mean it's definitely a family story but i think the footage of getting to see you as a young girl watching all this go go on mm-hmm. was so fun and so fascinating looking back at the film seeing yourself at that age is it is it kind of scary? Was it is it exciting? I mean, what are your feelings on it? It's uh, it's exciting to you know to see myself at that young age and be like, wow, I didn't know I was, you know, that interested in music at that time, and I was I didn't know I was that talented at that time. So it's um, it's a shocker, and it's exciting to see myself at that age, like playing the drums and actually keeping a beat at such a young age and walking around playing the fife and getting to see the joy on my grandfather's face at that time. Because, you know, I didn't just, just seeing him just playing around, thinking he was just telling me something that I wanted to hear. But at uh, the age I am now and watching the film, it was like, oh. So he was actually surprised and I, I got a chance to see the joy on his face to watch it. You know, one of the cool things about it is you tell us how a fife's made how the, the inner workings of how it's actually done. So many people, I think, just pick up an instrument, but you know the real history and legacy of this instrument. Uh-huh. Um, can you share a little bit about that? I love what you kind of told the young girls about how it's made. Can you share that yeah. same thing? Basically, just made out of a um, fishing pole. Like I tell the young students all the time, you know, um, go fishing with a pole, and you never knew that Otha and his friends could, like, make an instrument out of this type of thing and play it and travel all over the world with a fishing pole but uh it's it's kind of a hard job you know it's a long process to make like the perfect fife or the uh good playing fife but you just use like a a hot poker hot poker to burn the holes and burn the joint out and you have this wonderful fife (laughs) it sounds you know it sounds easy but it's extremely hard to make it for those that haven't experienced it, what was it like getting to eat the goat and be a part of that experience of of just the music and the whole situation? What, what are your fondest memories of the family? And, and I love when we get to see it strung up. It's like, oh, I want to eat it. Oh, it's like, oh. Um, I would have to say, of course, at the picnic, um, just watching my granddad play and get the picnic started basically because you know you have people rolling in and they just sit there and just kind of kind of wait for Ota to take charge and get his drummers together and start playing the fife and that's what I miss about the picnic you know just watching him like okay boys let's get this thing started you know let's get it rolling they're waiting on us so that was the um, the best memory for me. What was it like when you guys heard that you guys were going to be showcased here at Oxford? Was it an email? Was it a phone call? How did you guys hear that Y'all are going to be a major part of the music side of Oxford. Well, I, you know, for the as far as the film festival, it was emails and then conversations with us talking about going forward with that. Um, there's a lot of excitement because this, you know, this this is kind of the center of the of the Hill Country area, but 
really is up towards where she's from is that's, that's there's so much talent in that area of Mississippi it's incredible is it and uh, one thing she mentioned about the the goat picnic about that having Other come out there and, and um, telling everybody getting everybody revved up for the for the festival she is a professional it's, it's unbelievable to watch her in action on the goat picnic days seeing her doing all the work and and performing but also just handling the orchestrating the whole event and it's such a um, to me I have a daughter and it, it's such a um, I admire so much to have somebody that she can look up to that has that kind of dynamic personality is nice yeah. yeah and that's what that's one thing I love about this film is that those parts that she talks about the the pipe and that is really special to kind of see the girl kind of light up when, when Charday's talking about that did you ever think you'd be I mean, you're, you're like an ambassador very much for the legacy of, of what your granddad started. And I mean, you're, the next generation is going to look to you. That's got to be, it's got to be exciting. It's got to be fun. It's exciting and scary at times because, you know, it's like I tell everybody, you know, it's times where I just want to like give up and throw in the towel. But um, I just think about the younger generation and everybody that I've motivated. So I was like, okay, there's still work to be done. You know, there's teenagers and young girls and just young me and overall just looking up like to me like this is something that this girl has to keep doing because I'm motivating my generation and the younger generation. So it's scary at times, but when I just look back and dwell on my fans and I know I have a job that I have to continue. Is there something in the water in the hill country? What makes you guys <laughs> understand that type of music, that type of because it feels very much from the soul. Yes. Yeah, you have to feel it. You know, um, like I tell everybody, you just can't come in and think you're going to play here country blues. You know, you have to actually feel it first. And when you feel it, you know, it's just magic happens. So. Well, I think that's the best way to end an interview. Magic happens. <laughs> Guys, I love the movie. Um, thank I hope you. people get to see this. And thank you for chatting with us again. Thank you. And for thanks having. for playing on the red carpet. Yes. That was really thank cool. Thank you.